Hey guys, what's up? Mystery Infinite here. Uh, welcome back and buy my Pokemon Shield Nuzlocke Challenge. In the last episode, we cleared the second Geller Mine. I'm going to battle against Marnie. Uh, before I started this episode, I did some offline training. So I will show you the process of that. I think it wasn't that much. I think Drip was level 27. Mrs. Knight was maybe, yeah, I think she was 20, 26. Rushmore probably 27. And Brock was 24, but like the biggest changes are like that I evolved Salsa and Aslan. Uh, yeah, and Salsa got, uh, like I both changed the, the movesets pretty much, so I will show you that. I gave Aslan uh, extreme speed because he learns that uh, by evolving. I replaced Bite with Crunch. Uh, I've replaced Flame Wheel with uh, Flame Thrower. And I don't remember what the other move was, but I replaced with Play Rough. So that's a pretty, a pretty sweet move set. Yeah, like for Salsa, I replaced Mega Drain with Giga Drain, and Astonish with for Energy Ball. So yeah, I think we're pretty uh, alright for the gym. So yeah, let's head in. But I think we first have to talk with Hop. So moving, Iron Jew was there. I've already, I've already gone and earned my fi fire badge. The man of fire, Kabu, is just what you would expect. Nearly got burned in my battle with him. Even with my strongest team, it was definitely touch and go. But I still won in the end. Alright, get a shift on my sound. I bet you could be the man of, of fire too. Oh yeah, I hope so. But uh, what, is, what is really uh, cool of this gym is that you can catch a Pokemon inside. So yeah. But I don't think th uh, it is a potential new team member in there, but we will see. We will see. Hey, a gym challenger. That's a welcome sight. We don't have too many challengers since our leader Kabu has made his gym mission so hard. But I'll be happy to get you registered at once. I'm ready. If you're here to challenge our gym, we'll ask you to change it to your uniform first. Alright, there we go. Back with the number 10, very nice. You may find the fire gym mission a bit different than the others you faced. In you go. Alright. Let's go. The gym mission for the fire gym is this. Catch a Pokemon to earn the most points. Earn 5 points to clear the gym mission. In case you were wondering, you will earn 1 point for defeating a Pokemon in the tall grass, or 2 points for catching a Pokemon. But you won't be alone in this competition. Other trainers will be joining you in your battles. Think about what your opponents might do, and try to make the best action to wrap points. Alright, gym mission start. But are like from those marks in the grass because it only counts when that happens no I think not oh this is one it's a lit wave oh we're countering each other oh that was how it worked right yeah Alright, yeah, let's just water pools 5 Pokemon. It should be enough. Hopefully. At least in this case, alright. So, no Pokemon in this gym, I thought. But it's right. Alright. Assist Lapid. She sends in a Selenid. I think I'm just gonna pound it one time. I will use Fake Out. Oh, on me. That's pretty frustrating. <laughs> Alright, the Attack Rose, Defend Rose, Attack Rose. Uh, let's just try one Great Ball and see how that works out. Of 
course we have to release it. But you just for to get the points. Alright. Pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, we just send it to the box. We get two more points. I don't think Fulpix is a dead high of a catch rate. So yeah, let's just use a great ball. One, two... Alright, that's alright. For the code is Steam Engine. Alright, sorry for the cut. Uh, I just got another phone call that I needed to answer. So, yeah, let's continue. Uh, let's use a great call first. Alright, I think we're just gonna defeat this one. Let's just use water pearls. Alright. Four points. So yeah, let's just battle one. A little quick. And then we have five points. It should one shot, and it does. Right, pretty sweet. Another mission cleared. Very nice. You need a scavenge chain mission like that. Drop positively on fire. Next, you'll be facing Kawu, the leader of the fire chain. On you go, Challenger. Alright, here we are. So let's heal up in Drip. I think I'm gonna use Drip for um, like his beginner Pokemon and then like for his ace, the center scorch. I think I'm gonna use Rushmore. In the Dynamax form, because Rock is four times effective against his types, his type matchup. Just doing more hair. Right, pretty cool. <laughs> this looks very cool. He has like an awkward wall, and I love it. Welcome, I'm Kabu, the fire gym leader. The fact that you are here means you've bested both Milo's grass type Pokemon and Nessa's water types too. That's quite an accomplishment, why thank you. Every trainer at Pokemon trains hard in pursuit of victory, but that means your open opponent is also working hard to win. In the end, the match is decided by which side is able to unleash their true potential. I really love the floor of this gym. And you start doing like this. Alright. Alright. That's just for the attack and the uh, special attackers, so that's pretty sweet. Almost an Oko and a confusion. Alright. I think he's gonna go. He probably is. Oh no. He's confused. Thank you. And it's the first one now. Right. 
right to level up. Also rush more. Uh, no, I don't have the scary points, thank you. Alright. I'm still gonna finish the arc now. This shouldn't be a problem. The infinity is never. Fire and get your mind moving, Kabu. There still must be a pop victory. Like, this is pretty scary because we're kind of gigantic next this time. There's two levels higher and we get four times effective move against them, so it should be the trick. Don't drive to the score, but try to the next change your size and your form. Alright. Oh uh, wow, I love the fire in the eyes. It just makes your cat and makes you really terrifying. Alright. We've got a dynamics as well. He's probably he's 100 percent faster than us. Yeah. Make sure for us. Alright. Oh that that was a crit. Alright, pretty sweet. What what do we get dropped? Special attack. No, that's right. The physical. Try my chest there. And I have one shots. Alright. Pretty sweet. Not too out of a challenge. Two level ups. Very nice. We defeated Jimmy the Cabin. Great both on a great trainer. It's no surprise to you one. But thank you. I'm often regarded as the first real roadblock of the gym challenge, and yet you defeated me. Clearly, clearly your talent surpassed my many years of experience. I still have much to learn. I really love how he walks. I know now that you and your Pokemon will become a fantastic team. I'm glad I could battle you today. Let me give you the fire badge as proof that you, you've defeated me. Why, thank you. So yeah, let's true down, five more to go. Thanks to the Dynamax Phantom, our Pokemon battles have become part of the Gatherer Regions culture. And it's the young trainers who are responsible for keeping our culture alive. 
Of course, I hope that instead of just keeping it alive, you also help it to become something better. We are adults will be the pillars for you to build on. Alright. Masya, I figured that if anyone could do it, and you, Driz you and Drizzle would be the ones. But still, that match had me right at the edge of my seat. Challenge Vasya, I see you've done a fine job collecting the gym badges from the grass water and fire gyms. Please take this TM to commemorate what you've accomplished here today. Thank you. Alright, and take one of our uniforms. It's the same design as Kabu himself wears. Alright, you got the fire uniform. I think you've proven your skill well enough to try your hand against the gym that awaits you. Starting in the city of Hammerlock. Head back down into the wild area surrounding the city to make your way to Hammerlock. Alright. With all the badges we've earned ourselves, I reckon we should be alright even against the fierce Pokemon you find deep in a wild area. Let's go find let's go find out for ourselves. I think that's a uh, nice task to do in the next episode so thank you all for watching today uh, be sure to like and subscribe and yeah i hope to see you in the next episode bye bye